Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, and this is again Fighting Spirit Mania. Apologies, I have egg on my face. So upper left hand corner, we have DeWalt starting as the green Protoss, bottom right hand corner we got Bonnet starting as the yellow Protoss. So, uh, I thought I was done, and which felt bad because I didn't feel like I did my best exit commentary on the last one, mostly because it fell a little bit up in the air. I'm like, well, is it going to continue, is it not? And then Bonnet one, I'm like, well, that was kind of an anticlimactic finish, right? and proceeded to go from there. Uh, then I saw as I was deleting the replays through what I was presumed was a spoiler free bracket, I found more replays, which made me very concerned. Actually, if you watched the stream live, you got to see that happen in real time. At which point I reached out to the organizer of the tournament and asked, hey, uh, did Bonneth win Fighting Spirit Mania through the, <coughs> uh, just did he win the lower bracket final and that was that? And he was, no. Uh, DeWalt was the winner bracket finalist, and Bonneth ended up beating him through the lower bracket in that seven best of seven. At which point it reset to, so I had the wrong, and part of it is my fault for, part of it is because I couldn't go and check brackets to avoid spoilers and things like that, but I had it reversed this entire time. I thought Bonneth made it to the, the upper bracket final final. I'm wondering if they had a little bit of lag in this match but basically it wasn't me um <laughs> okay yeah it looks like they've managed to clear up that lag situation but point being where i thought dewalt was coming out of the lower bracket it was bonneth that was coming out of the lower bracket which means bonneth succeeded in the final match of seven sets of seven to beat dewalt so I, all of the hype i was doing invert it completely for that previous series. I apologize, everybody. My my bad. But what this means is we've got another... <laughs> so I'm not sure whether... Uh, I'm not sure how people react to this or not, but what, uh, what results is this. We are now in the actual grand final. Whoever wins four sets out of the next seven sets is the actual Fighting Spirit Mania championship uh, champion. So apologies... Hopefully uh, that doesn't confuse things too much. Hopefully guys, when you see this, are like, oh yeah, okay, that's what happened. And then I'll, I'll try to make a mental note to upload these on the same day as well. So people are like, oh, I thought that was it. And then they come back and it continues. I'm, I'm tempted. To re I don't know that I have the heart to recast the other 49 games. I might recast the final game depending on uh, mood and some other things. I'm debating doing that. I don't like casting games I've already cast though. Uh, for spoiler reasons, but um, anyway, it looks like we're seeing a mirror build, by the way. Both players have managed to get in each other's uh, base. I do believe DeWalt ended up with a sliver more resources, because I think he got the faster scout. Uh, Zealot chasing around probe. We do have a third pylon being dropped for both players. Or never mind, no third pylon. Second pylon, Citadel of a Dune for DeWalt after chasing that probe out, so is going to go for a potential DT play here. And the Dragoon, we've seen this quite a bit, both players running out to potentially have Dragoons meet mid-map, going to escort that probe back to home base safely. Now, if this turns into one gate expand for Bonneth, should be a massive advantage. It looks like he's turning it in. Oh, is he gonna go three gate? Three gate is the, mm. There's worse builds to, to deal with this. One gate into expand with no obs, things like that. Three gate's pretty bad too, though, especially if there's no uh, observer support. Especially off uh, especially off no Dragoon range straight into Templar Archives, and I'm not sure if... I, I think that might have been... I didn't check it because I was so busy distracted apologizing and talking about the, the correction there. Um, Cybernetic score, I think, might have canceled Dragoon range as well to make this even faster. And so... Uh, by the way, probe checking around that corner, getting pushed back. So now it's going to be three gate DT. Do we and do we have a robo? Is the other question, or is it going to be three gate into expand? Is the other question. Um, three gate robo is more stereotypical. One advantage as well is it's only going to be one gate DT, which is usually less of a less of a kill threat. And Dewalt's still kind of scooting out, trying to get the information check. But yeah, I think this was going to be three gate pressure into expand potentially here for Bonneth. We've got no signs of robotics, so this could turn into a game win regardless. It, 
yeah, even if he builds... Oh, this is a disaster. So build order lost potentially here, initially here from Bonneth. Um, the wall should be able to move that DT across the map, build a second DT and queue it up. And as soon as that second DT is out on the field, he basically has zero threat and might even recognize that he's in a build order win situation here as the units are starting to move across, depending on recognizing, okay, yeah, this is the aggression timing. So we got three gate, no robo, unless I've just not seen it out in the map, which I don't think so. And the probe going end around actually. Does Bonnet see the Dark Templar mid map? He is missing that Dark Templar because otherwise I think he'd be drawing back immediately. Uh, Nexus can just get canceled here for DeWalt and this should be in the probe wants to check. The probe wants to see whether there's anything. I think Bonneth in fact did see, does recognize that it's DT from here. Yeah, he's got the DT on the ramp. So now he's just trying to create as much of a blockade as possible. Get that forge out. I don't know if this is gonna work with just the timing. He's trying to take down that Nexus as rapidly as possible as he's losing units at the, at the natural. It looks like the Dragoon is giving up, or sorry, the Dark Temple are getting a little bit distracted there by DeWalt, one of them driven off, the second one making the way up. And the Dark Templar with support looks like it is gonna be able to save that natural expansion. And looks like he's not going to try to press. I think that might've been some misclicking there from DeWalt. That might've been game win, actually, if he had taken that, uh, that Dragoon down and went from there. So, cause there's still a pocket. Oh, he's still gonna get into the main. Doesn't matter. There's GG from Bonneth. So build order win game one. Which feels kind of like anti-climax into anti-climax <laughs> a little bit. Uh, I think I am going to recast the previous game. Just to, to cover it up and just fess up and go from there. But anyway, we, we proceed and we continue. Either way, you guys know what's going on now. Uh, and this might be repeated information from the previous commentary. Now that I'm, yeah, kind of redo that last one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.